let us just start by apologizing. It's a little late. We know this. But it's all his fault. It is my fault. I don't live near you. Okay, so <laughs> I live like an hour and a half away. We're working on ways to get these things faster to you. Oh, speaking of which, mm -hmm. we did our first Trash Talk Live. It went fairly well, other than... It went the, okay. Other than having some technical difficulties in the beginning. Other than you having some technical difficulties there was in no, the beginning. There was it's no fine. start Just, button. It's fine, it's fine. Anyways, uh, what did you guys think about it? Would you like us? You gotta let us know. Hit the mm -hmm. thumbs up button at the very least to let us know if you're not gonna leave a comment. Right. Did you like the live thing? I thought that it looked like we recorded from potatoes, even though our cameras are f***ing HD. Yeah. Because Google's... Hangout thing diminishes quality like crazy. Yeah. Um, but the overall concept, did you like the live trash talk? Did you like the length of it? I think it was a little long, but at the same time, maybe that movie deserved it. I don't know. Right. Well, that topic definitely deserved it. But the idea is when something unexpectedly drops, because mm -hmm. it always happens when we record. It's literally the next day. Yeah, the next day. Tomorrow or sometime tonight. Suicide Squad trailer Something's too. gonna happen. Some, okay, so, <laughs> but the idea is when something drops, we can get on and do a little thing about that. Mm -hmm. We're still gonna do these videos that are edited with pictures and good quality video and all of that. But would you guys like to see more more of the live stuff? Let us know in the comment section below. Today, we're talking about Civil War trailer number two. Highly requested. 30 seconds after a drop, people were like, where's the trash talk for it? <laughs> where are they? I know it's even longer than you expected, but we're here doing it. Let's just get the elephant out of the room, okay? Let's just start with it, okay? Mm -hmm. Spider-Man was revealed. If I could only be one superhero, if I could only read or watch one superhero, mm -hmm. I would pick Spider-Man. So I'm biased. And you would think, oh, you can't wait to see Spider-Man. No, I'm opposite. I wanted to see it in the theater mm -hmm. because I think there's nothing more magical than the moments that happen in the theater, right? Mm -hmm. You know, when, when I first saw Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, that's a terrible movie, but the silhouette shadow of Indiana picking up his hat, that's ingrained in my mind. I will never forget that mm -hmm. because that happened in the movie. So I wanted my first Marvel version of Spider-Man to be a moment in the theater. That's not what I got. I got it on the BART train, okay, <laughs> on my little iPhone that's cracked a little bit. So that was my exposure. What do you think of the Spider-Man unveiling in the trailer and his costume? Um, well, I'm looking right over here and you have the painting by Alex Ross. Okay. And mm -hmm. that painting of Alex Ross as Spider-Man is uh, based off of uh, Steve Ditko. Yes. And that's what this costume is, at least from the neck up. Yeah. From the neck up. And the little tiny spider. I like every Spider-Man costume. There's not one that I don't like. I love them all. I even love this one. But my favorite, personally, was what was portrayed in Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yes. The big eyes, the long logo. Every time he was on screen, I was just like, that is so perfect. Almost kind of like how the Batman in BVS is. You were like, yes. oh my God, that's like, that's the Batman, right? Yes. To I, me, Amazing Spider-Man 2 is. With that being said, I still like this costume. Mm -hmm. Now, what was shown in the trailer, do you agree? It looks a little unfinished from a CGI standpoint. I'm not gr I'm not great with picking out CG. The visual that it gives me is very similar to kind of how I felt about Cap's costume in Avengers 1. Okay. Where it was almost too comic booky. Right. And it makes it just look a little weird. Okay. But I like like you. I like the way it looks. Yeah, it's, for sure. I like the way it looks. It's super traditional. I love the. Oh yeah. Um, super traditional. I love the opening and closing of the eyes. You can hear it uh, move. That it's gears. It's 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 tech. So right. um, I think that it's Stark tech. It's possible. No, it's Stark. I it's, think everything but the head Peter Parker made. Uh, but then Tony yeah. gave him that head. The, the thing, though, is that this might be Stark tech, but it might be Parker made. He's not going to have the funds to, you know, he can he barely afford his fucking camera, let alone a, mm -hmm. make a costume. Um, so very low tech and everything. So I think what this is, is he's going to have the access, the resources to Stark tech. And he's going to be like, ooh. And they're going to come up with this maybe together. Uh, whatever these are for, whether it be just for expressive purposes or also maybe taking pictures while he's being Spider-Man. Because he's got to sell pictures to the Bugle. That'd be dope. Yeah, like whatever they're doing, dude, just give it to me, man. I do. <laughs> so. I mean, look, I'm not going to lie. I was pissed off when I saw this. <laughs> really yeah. mad. Fuck that last trailer for Captain America Civil War. Fuck it, Marvel. What the fuck are you doing?
You just showed Spider Man. That fucking bullshit. Oh my, this white chill is such Watch your profanity. Yeah. I was furious. Not because of the look, he just no, didn't want to see it. I yet. love the look. Spider Man's my dude. I just, I didn't want to see it on the Bart, man. I wanted to have my popcorn with all the butter, all the salt. I wanted my Coke. By the time he's done with this, the movie will have started already. This is only round one. Oh my god, we, we haven't even started. Like, this is just like preliminary he's, seasoning, okay? He's very in depth with it. Like, this is pretty crazy. The last time he did this, they ran out of butter. <laughs> and I'm not joking. The dynamics of the box are different than the bag, okay? So when you have the bag, you close it and you can shake it. But the box is tricky, so you really have to have this this massaging technique, you see? It's like, like, it's like uh, mushing meat. Yeah, kind of. You know, you have to be really gentle. And it, it gets a little messy, but worth it. Worth it in the long run, you see? You really want to get the butter in there like that. Boom, look at that. <laughs> That's so gross. Yeah. This is how to do it. Simple, not clean, but just simple. Yeah. And I wanted the big screen. And look, if you don't feel that way, I, I get it. I get that. But I know I'm not the only one, okay? No, yeah. Wouldn't it be crazy if Wonder Woman wasn't in the trailers and then all of a sudden she's in See, there, that's right? See, that's the thing, though, is that, that I feel like the... the the Batman v Superman at this point, because I haven't seen Civil War, was a different situation because they literally showed us in everything in everything. in, in chronological order. Yeah, order. Yeah. I mean, so that's, that's where I feel like this trailer might have us beat. Where we're seeing stuff from all over. One scene, Tony's got a black guy talking to Cap. One scene, he's not. Like, and it looks like they make it, you know, cut it together like it's the smart, same. Smart. Yeah. So we don't know what the f is going on in this. We thing. just know this sh looks sick, and we gotta change our pants every time we watch it. So, <laughs> so this is dope. a perfect segue into the other crap. Let me start by saying, Chris, is it possible that Civil War is going to do what Batman vs. Superman should have done a hundred times better? Are you talking about the hero versus hero thing? I'm talking about I want the struggle to be real. 